friends welcome to 20 fingers to business this is part 18 of online shopping cart project in our previous videos we have seen the code till admin all categories and design and code so this is part 18 in this part 18 we are going to see admin customer details code and design so if you have not gone through the previous video please go through it so that there is no confusion in understanding the entire flow and code of the shopping cart project for customer details we have added a page customer order.aspx to add this customer order.aspx page right click on admin folder add new item web form using master page name it as customer order.aspx click on add there will be a prompt to select a master page from that prompt select admin master dot master and click on ok when you click on ok you will get an empty page a page with an empty content placeholder so we are going to make this design and add this grid view now so let's go in the design view in the design view as you know there is a div and a table which is which we have added inside the content placeholder as this is a child page the content placeholder is empty initially so the div align equal to center inside the div we have added a horizontal line and a label in that label we are adding the tab text as customer orders after the div we are adding a table with a single row with this 100% some background color and some cell spacing for that table we have added the align equal to center inside the table data we are adding a grid view so the rest of the properties as we already discussed in our previous video is it's same to uh, same as that uh, we can change the auto format and get whatever design we want there are a lot of designs available here click on apply that design will be applied to the grid view. So in this grid view, we have given the width equal to 100% and auto generate columns equal to false. Auto generate columns equal to false means only those columns will be added to the grid view which are mentioned in the column section. So we are adding some we are adding some columns in the column section. So we have bound field one, two, three, four, and five bound field, which is ID, customer name customer phone number, total products and the total price followed by a hyperlink which will take us to the order details. So to add a hyperlink we have taken ASP template field and inside the template field we have an item template. Inside the item template we have a hyperlink. A hyperlink is having a navigate URL. So in that navigate URL what we are doing is we are binding the ID of this customer ID which is the transaction ID the transaction ID is getting replaced with here so whenever user clicks on the hyperlink the user will be redirected using the navigate URL property and it will be redirected to order detail dot ASPX question mark ID equal to whatever ID is getting binded to the grid view and the target equal to blank so it will get open in a new window so this was a pretty simple grid view gv customer orders so let's see how we are getting the details from the database and binding it to this grid view so this is how it looks when we go in the design mode so let's click right click view code when we click on view code we are redirected to the customer order dot .cs file in the cs file we have simple not is post back that means we want the code to be binded only when the page is loading for the first time get order list get order list inside this method we are creating an object of shopping cart to get create this object what we have done is we have added a reference of our shopping heart dot business layer which is shopping heart dot business layer and inside this we have shopping cart dot cs file so we inside this shopping cart we are creating an object and here we are passing the flag equal to zero uh, we'll discuss in our in coming code why we are setting this flag equal to zero then here we are using this object we are creating a method get order list 
So this get order list is a part of shopping cart.cs, which is a part of business layer. Here we have, uh, we are passing this flag as a parameter and we have created a store procedure SP get order list. So this store procedure SP get order list will go in the data layer and through the data access.cs it will go inside the database and fetch all the data for us. So let's discuss SP get order list. We have already opened SQL Server. In the SQL Server, we have Shopping Cart DB, and in the st programmatically stored procedure section, we have SP Get Order List. So, if it is not there in your database, how you can create it? To create a, a new stored procedure, you can right click any one of them and right click Modify. When you modify an existing stored procedure, it will show Alter. So, instead of Alter, you can create and change the name and it will create a new store procedure for you suppose here we have a flag the flag is nothing but the id if we are not passing the id that if if, the, if we are passing the id then the store procedure will get details only for that particular customer details only for that particular order if we are not passing the id it will get all the customer details so this same procedure can be used to get two kinds of data. One is a data related only to that customer ID and another one is data related to all the customer IDs. So this store procedure seems to be pretty simple. If it is not here, we are passing it as zero. So it's not equal to zero. So it will go in the else part. In the else part, we have select star from customer details. If we execute this, we get all the details, customer name, customer ID, phone number, address, total products purchased by that customer, what is the total price, the order date and time, and what is the payment method. So it will return and here it will bind to the data source and data bind method. It will bind to the GV customer orders. So we have already mentioned the data field, ID, customer name, phone number, total products, price, and the ID. So those fields will be taken from the data table, which is getting binded from the store procedure. So let's run it. Enter the username and password. Here we have, we have already discussed add category, add products all category, all products, and here we are on customer orders. So this data, whatever is getting displayed here is the result of what we see in select star from select star from customer details. And this above query select star from customer details here, if we pass one, then it will get us only the first customer ID details of customer having ID equal to one. So here we have it, ID and when user clicks on view details, suppose the admin of shopping heart wants to view the details of the last customer. So he, he will click on view details. When he clicks on view details, a new page will get open with transaction number equal to six. So how we are taking this transaction number? We are taking this transaction number using the query string ID equal to six. So that ID is automatically binded to the grid view. If we click on another one, we have ID equal to two and it will show the transaction number as two. So if the user want, if the admin wants to search a new transaction number, then he can click clear and search other transaction. So that will remove the transaction number and he can enter five and click on go. So it will display the details of customer five. So here we have three sections. One is the customer detail, product detail and delivery status. So admin, this text box is only available for admin when the, the so that the admin can enter, enter the delivery status like what is the status, is the courier dispatched or is the courier lost or whatever the status may be. And if the user enters some invalid data, for example, this, so he is shown with no results found text box, no results found panel, sorry. So this was a clear and small tutorial about customer orders. In our next video, we will see how we are counting the product stock 
and after that we will see how we are generating the income report how how we are calculating the income report for this three parameters so thank you for watching this video if you have any query regarding understanding the code you can raise a comment on this video or you can also question us on our facebook page thank you for watching this video also you can visit our blog 20fingers2brains.blogspot.com have a nice day